please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for more updates support an educational channel in this tutorial we're going to discuss about immunity and antibodies under the chapter human health and diseases every organism has the natural defense system to fight against foreign agents or pathogens that overall ability of an organism to fight against the disease causing microorganisms is called immunity there are two types of immunity innate immunity and acquired immunity let us discuss one by one innate immunity it is a non specific type of defense that present at the time of birth which can accomplished by providing different barriers called physical barriers physiological barriers cellular barriers and cytokine barriers physical barriers physical barriers provide immunity by physical means skin on our body and mucous coating epithelium are the examples as you know children are more vulnerable to the pathogens hence the skin acts as a barrier which prevents entry of microorganisms mucous coating of the epithelium lining of respiratory tracts gastrointestinal tracts urogenital tracts are also provide physical barriers foreign agents are also prevented by secreting body fluids this kind of innate immunity is called physiological barriers acid in stomach saliva in mouth tears from eyes are the best examples hydrochloric acid produced in the stomach provides immunity by killing germs which comes along with the food saliva in the mouth contains an enzyme called lysozyme which is antibacterial in property tears produced from the lacrimal glands have fungicidal property which kills the fungus cellular barriers include wbcs like polymorphonuclear leukocytes monocytes and lymphocytes they provide immunity by ingesting harmful foreign particles bacteria and dead or dying cells cytokine barriers like virus infected cells secrete proteins called interferons they protect non infected cells from further viral infection another type of immunity is called acquired immunity it is a pathogen specific accomplished by producing primary and secondary response both primary and secondary immune responses are carried out with the help of two special types of lymphocytes called b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes b lymphocytes produce an army of proteins in response to pathogens to fight with them are called antibodies an antibody molecule contains two heavy chains two light chains both are attached by disulfide bridge with an antigen binding site at the edge if you wish to take an overview of antibody molecule each antibody molecule has four peptide chains two small chains called light chains two longer chains called heavy chains hence an antibody represented as h2l2 types of antibodies are iga igm ige igg here ig represents immunoglobulins there are four important components are present in our immune system they are lymphoid organs lymphoid tissues immune cells and antibodies some important lymph some important lymphoid organs are tonsils thymus spleen aggregated lymphoid nodules appendix and bone marrow bone marrow produces blood cells like wbcs rbcs and platelets wbcs like lymphocytes help in phagocytosis of foreign particles 
Another important primary lymphoid organ is thymus, which provides microenvironments for the development and maturation of T lymphocytes. Secondary lymphoid organs include spleen, lymph nodes, and mucosal associated lymphoid tissues. Spleen filters the blood by trapping blood borne microorganisms. Lymph nodes trap the microorganisms that enter the lymph and tissue fluid. Mycosal associated lymphoid tissues, they also prevent the microorganisms by coating the internal organs. 